In this video, we will be discussing shapefiles in Field Agent Desktop. We will discuss how to create, edit, and delete a shapefile or field boundary with inside a Field Agent Desktop. Starting with the creation of a field using a field boundary, from the main menu, click on the plus sign, go down to add fields here. The dialog box tells you to right click where you want to start that field at. So I'm gonna right click here, click on add field here, give it a name, And then I can fill in the additional information if I choose to do so. It is not required. The name is required though. Click on save and you can see it added a pen drop here. Now we want to edit that boundary because you can see it didn't draw anything out for us, didn't ask us to. But when we go into the edit mode or go into the field, I should say, you can see that it did create a nice little square field boundary, which obviously doesn't match the field. So we need to learn how to edit that. So to do so, go over here to where it says shapes, field boundary, Click on the gear and go down to edit shape. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to move it. And then I have the ability to do a couple of different things. One, leave it as a polygon or two, I could change it to a, a circle, um, uh, but we're going to leave it as a polygon. Uh, so I'm going to go back to polygon here. And all I do is grab the corners and drag it around to meet uh, my needs. And by doing so, um, get it to match up with the actual shape of the field. Now you can see I have a nice straight line here. It goes right through the homestead. Well, obviously we're not gonna be plowing right through the homestead. So we're gonna click on the line and add a point and drag it. And we just do that a couple more times to uh, highlight the area around the homestead. And then we're gonna go ahead and once we're happy with what we have, we click on save. And that's all there is to editing the field boundary. Now you can't delete a field boundary without deleting the field, so uh, we're not gonna delete the field boundary per se in this particular case, but we're gonna learn how to add in a secondary boundary. So some fields uh, may be separated by a road or something like that, and we wanna have it still be seen as the same field. So in this case, we wanna add in uh, this field over here as a second shape within our field boundary. So again, we go into edit shape. I'm gonna choose rectangle, so it draws a nice square square and I just drag that to fit the shape. You don't want to overlap your existing boundary because uh, field agent uh, will not handle that very well because it doesn't know where one ends and the other begins in those particular cases. Once I've added that secondary shape in, I click on save and there it is, a nice rectangular shape field boundary added in and all taken care of. Now, that second field boundary we can delete if we wanted to by going into the edit mode again, clicking on edit shape, click on the remove, click on the field boundary and click on save and it deleted it. The other thing we can do with inside a field agent desktop is to create a shape file to call out areas within the field. So um, this spot right here, we can certainly call out by going into our shapes, clicking on add, and then we can draw a rectangle or a circle. I'm going to do a circle in this particular case. So you see how that works. So I draw a circle and then a nice uh, circle right there. Again, we don't want to cross the boundary lines. Click on save, give it a name, add a color to it. The default is blue, but let's make sure it's really obvious to us and give it a yellow and click on OK. And here now you can see I've added this circle in here and over under our shapes, it tells us what it's called. Pond, we can coordinate it based on the color, how many acres it is. So obviously that information is there. We can turn that on or off or back on again. Uh, if we choose, we can edit it much like we did with the, the field boundary. Or if we choose, we can also choose to delete it. We can also choose to leave it there permanently. There's no right or wrong way to do so. And once I'm ready to delete, I click on OK. And that's all there is to deleting a field boundary. So if you have any questions on creating field boundaries, or editing or deleting field boundaries, please feel free to contact us at support at or give us a call at 612-204-2000 or you can reach us through Sentara.com by clicking on support.